lately. Ask yourself that. Well, with the cold weather, we know that snow is on its way, but there is another explanation, and it has to do with sunlight. CBS 11's Grace Jang joins us live in the newsroom with more on what is called seasonal affective disorder. Grace. That's right, Reagan. Many Alaskans know from experience that the amount of sunlight directly affects your mood. And we also found that Alaskans are 10 times more likely to suffer from the winter blues than any other American. Alaska's days of endless sun fade into permanent midnight. The winter blues begin to set in. Seasonal affective is a variant of major depression or of bipolar disorder that has most of the same symptoms, although slightly different than your usual major depression. Three-fourths of those who suffer from seasonal affective disorder or SAD are women under the age of 40. It's not exactly clear what causes SAD, but one theory is that the lack of sun exposure affects our biological clock. That clock regulates our sleep, our moods, and our hormones. Here's what to watch out for. Depression that can last for more than two weeks, low energy, craving carbs, sleeping longer than usual, feelings of hopelessness, guilt, and even suicidal thoughts. To fight SAD, experts recommend exercise, light therapy, and in extreme cases, medication. Light therapy does not have to be costly. If you Google, you know, do-it-yourself light box, you can go to Walmart and, or I'm sorry, Home Depot and, you know, buy the parts relatively cheap. It's not rocket science, it's just a bright light. If SAD goes untreated, it can be dangerous. It can interfere with your uh, work, uh, productivity, concentration, it can impair your relationships with loved ones, it can, you know, in worst circumstances be mortal, you know, suicide is a risk factor for any serious depression. Now, Dr. Samson says tanning booths are not effective in fighting SAD. There's a connection between the retina, UV absorption, and melatonin, which you can't get in a tanning booth because of those protective goggles. Live in the newsroom tonight, Grace Jang, CBS 11 News. All right, thanks so much, Grace. Well, do you think you're...